done. It's a 58-yard punt, and the Bengals take possession. The defense for the Cowboys getting set to go. They did their job last go around, forced the punt, hoping for more of that here. They got off the field. That's exactly what they wanted to accomplish. Get off the field, turn the ball over to their offense, and kick back and enjoy a little bit of water and rest before they have to go back out there again. Back out there now, hoping to hurry up and get more water and rest. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Play action. It's Wentz. Backing up. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. And Richard Rodgers makes the grab, and let's face it, it's going to follow him the rest of his career. The Hail Mary he caught to beat the Lions in 2015 in Detroit, pretty memorable play. Those Lions fans, they just don't like you right now if they heard that. I didn't mean to bring it up to, you know, pull the Band-Aid off the wound there. I was just trying to praise Richard Rodgers. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be mad at me. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. On second down, here's Wentz. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. On the counter, Devontae Freeman. yardage back to the 29. We've become so accustomed to it, you, you sort of take it for granted. You really do, but he is so good that every team in his division, every year is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, hasn't been too successful. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Benjamin with it over the middle. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Joseph. And a big turn sitting alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got it first and 10 inside their own 20-yard line. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not a whole lot to speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying at the ground game. They'll set up to throw. It's brought in by Kevin White. A nice gain at 21 yards. 
They try the corner route there, Charles, and it works to perfection. Boy, that's hard on a defensive back because if you get any fake or move to the inside, you have to respect it, and then the receiver breaks back to the sideline. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Love the run right there. And when you analyzed him coming out of college, when you tried to put a grade on him, you saw the flashes while he was in school, but you didn't see the full production. You didn't see the finished product. He's a little bit raw, but you can see why people liked it. Those types of runs make you think there's plenty more there and we'll see if that continues for him. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Now Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him two yards on that play. And that'll bring up a third down. Hey, the defense is in this game as well. They wanted to make it a tough third down. They were able to do so on that last play, preventing a big game. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to play coverage here. Here's Prescott. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Kevin White with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys have once again taken the lead. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle, hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. If you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there.
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Again, they'll run with Freeman. Stays on his feet. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And the man who helped Florida State to a national title in 2013, Devontae Freeman, reeling off a nice run. I remember when he came out of school and I was evaluating him for the NFL draft. I loved a lot of his game. Run it, catch it, block. But I loved how hard he played. He played every play as if it were his last, and that ran him to the Pro Bowl after the 2015 NFL season. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. Complete left side. The tight end Rodgers. And he's brought down. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. handoff Devontae Freeman and he'll take this one down to about the 40 three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game you're now doing the dictating on defense and guess what now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt On second down, here's Wentz. Throwing it to traffic there, and that's complete. Call it a gain of five, and they're going to face a third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And the two-minute warning lurking. This will probably be the last play before we hit it. Yeah, they want to get themselves in position to score in this last shot before the clock hits. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a bangle got going a little early there. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. Now Wentz on third down. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. 
So distance, not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Now they'll run it on the toss. And an alley to run. A really good pickup of 28 yards. When you see a big-time run to the outside, it always comes back to setting the edge, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, and they, they were perfect at setting the edge there. And the funny part is, both sides of the ball talk about it. The offense has to set the edge so you can get outside. The defense wants to set the edge to control things so they can kick the run back inside. Vince wins there. The offense won big. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. It was Willie Young that wound up getting him down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra to the end with a short run. This will be caught at about the five. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Kenneth Dixon hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Wake in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but yeah, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're gonna get right back to it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first-half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Holding offense. If they lose, 
Little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Let's go! One, nine, four, five. They'll look to throw here. Going right side here, and that's complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Really nice little connection there. They go with the corner route, and it works out well. And the best way to set up the corner route is to throw slants throughout the ball game so that when you're able to get back outside, the defender has to respect the inside game. Back to throw now on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make this a second down. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it third down. Time to tighten up the seatbelt just a little bit, partner, because that was a safety that crashed in there and made that play behind the line of scrimmage. How about that pursuit? They'll look to throw. He hits White, complete. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Everything about that play was beautiful. A great corner route where the receiver worked the defensive back inside and then broke back to the outside to the corner. But how about the throw by the quarterback? Anticipation on the break from inside to outside. He threw the football as the receiver turned around. The ball greeted him. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. But that's the desired outcome coming out of here in the second half of being able to run the football and establish a little bit of pace and maybe even a bit of dominance at the line of scrimmage. And they want that to continue. Way too early to think about this being ball control time. But the way they're running it, you got to think they may want to continue that and see if they can go ahead and grind their opponents into submission. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 13 yards there on the pickup. And that leads to a Dallas first down. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. But other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Kevin White, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call the position. It's who you put there, and there we saw completion. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first.